the free course thing that y'all saw, like that I posted up in the group and on my personal profile, um, we turn that sucker into an ad. Just like that. No changing ups, no like fiery emojis, nothing like a used car salesperson that's waving their hands around to get attention. Just the same exact ad or the same exact post you saw as an ad. And we're running it to a very Jeff Miller style, stupid, simple advertising campaign. And that stupid, simple advertising campaign is digital marketers and people that follow the big three, big four, big five. So like Russell Brunson, Frank Hearn, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, we can't do Russ, uh, Grant Cardone anymore because it's real estate. So Facebook, I think, removed it. And then I think one other one. And it's just targeting those people. We're not doing anything like income or anything more advanced beyond that. We're not doing any successful A, B tests or dynamic tests. I tried it. It totally bombed. I removed it after three or four days. So it's effectively as stupid, simple as you can get. Plus, there's no lookalikes. There's no pixels. There's nothing warm. It's as cold, as cold, as stupid, as stupid, as simple as we can get. And right now, we're cruising anywhere between 15 cents per lead to a dollar per lead to $2 per lead, depending upon the country. And by that, I mean, if it's in the US, it's about two bucks a pop. If it's in the UK, it's about a dollar a pop. And if it's international, it's 15 cents each. Now, if you deep dive into international, effectively international for Facebook means India and Pakistan, which is totally kosher. They have money just like anywhere else. But when you type international, you think like globally, you don't think like exclusively only those two countries, but they make up for like 90% of international, which is like kind of interesting, right? Either way though, I wrote up the guide and we just started advertising it. And so far we're cruising in about 1500, 1500 leads. I was going to say 1500 bucks isn't correct, but 1500 leads. I'm going, damn, that's like really darn cool. And I'll tell you what, like when you start cracking a dollar a lead or $2 a lead, everything works. Like the amount of volume, the amount of opportunity, the amount of responses just skyrockets. Plus you get so many reps and so many ats and so many bats that when you mess one up, you don't care. Like contrast a hundred leads at a dollar a pop versus one lead at a hundred bucks a pop. Even if that hundred dollar one lead is super quality and perfect fit, there's something about I've got other dates lined up type of confidence. And it's really, really, really cool seeing that. So I just want to give you all an update. And it, it goes to show that success in online advertising, and online marketing is very rarely a function of super advanced targeting. Like, I, I don't believe that media buyers as a whole are the I know what secret button to push type of person. I don't, I don't think that's the case with media buying. I think success with media buying is a function of the ad itself. And success of the ad itself is a function of the offer or what's included. Like if you are running around town saying, hey, you know, <laughs> we've got a shitty guy that it's all lead gen and bait. And nobody wants it. Do you want it? No, it's not going to work out, right? But if you run out of town saying we've got the most amazing uh, industry knowledge that's going to help you accomplish your goals, leave your pain and, and move you forward uh, to your goals. Do you want it? They go, yeah, let's book you. And so it's really cool seeing that. That guide, by the way, is attracting people who are doing online lead generation. People are doing copywriting. People are doing websites. People who do SEO. People who do CRO. And it's really, really cool seeing that. Plus, the conversations are, I, I would argue, medium to great. And that guide is pushing a lot of people who, who are in the no category to a, a medium and from a medium to a yes. And so like hot to medium to cold or cold, medium, hot type of thing. And it's really, really cool seeing that happens. Um, and uh, in the last couple of sentences, and then I'll just do general intros and we'll get on today's lesson. Um, but seeing the most difficult, challenged marketing to marketers about marketing, agency to agency, and, and realizing that, again, it's, it's almost never a function of targeting. It's a function of the ad and function of the offer and what problem you're solving. It's really, really cool and really reinforcing. Um, and so I really want to challenge everybody here to 
not pin the success of your business entirely on whether or not the targeting works. Like it's, it's not great. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to have a happy business. You're not going to be successful about it. You're not going to be running around town saying, wow, I made a boatload of money. I have happy clients. It's not a function of targeting at all whatsoever. It's a function of, it has success has more to do with other stuff, to be honest. Um, I, I think targeting is probably like, I mean, I'm not in the media buying space, so if somebody in media buying is going to be yelling at me, but if you're doing local lead gen, targeting is effectively the same for everybody. Everyone within 15 miles, get to it. And that's on Facebook and on TikTok. And if you're on the Google side or the search side, it's these keywords, that's it, within 15 miles. That, that's media buying for me. So it's, it's interesting seeing that growth and that reinforcement. So I just want to share uh, that type of progress. And if you're lucky enough to be on both sides of the equation, so like you see me doing this and you see me talking about doing this, this is something you should probably implement into your business. And I went live in the MRR group. So the best deal on the internet, that's the $97 a month group. It was like, guys, everybody here should be doing a pricing guide. Like everybody should be doing a pricing guide, both on the client getting side and the customer getting side. And if you don't believe me, Looking at you, you right here. If you don't believe me, pricing guides work. Then tell me how many times you bought without knowing the price beforehand. How many times in the past 30 days have you bought without knowing the price beforehand? How many times have you bought and not even questioned how much? Like even people who buy jets go, how much does this jet cost? So having price conquered and dealt with as a function of the ad and the media buying, the sales process, the sales journey in the business, all of a sudden everything sorts out really, really well. If you think media buying, or sorry, if you think pricing guys won't work in your industry, I was in Coral Gables walking around Merrick Park and there's a med spa that had a list of their prices from top to bottom, about 20 different services. And they ranged from $400 to 4,000. They just said, this is how much it is. End of discussion, guys. This is the pricing guide. It happened to be for their services. You can do the same. You can do pricing guides as a service for your clients and your customers. Like you can run out and say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and figure out the top five things that roofers charge for, that dentists charge for, that med spas charge for. You can have, and I'm looking at Matt Frode right here, create the top five most common Botox pricing models and how to use them to grow your med spa from zero to $50,000 a month. Holy hell in a handbasket. Like, isn't that useful? And even if that doesn't turn into a honest dollar driven relationship, you've built a marketing asset that you can use forever. 